Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about how to prepare for CISSP exam in 2023. There is already an old video I made on CISSP resource and it was a great hit but it was on the old syllabus so I thought I will make a new video on the new syllabus. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss any future videos on CISSP. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can check my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Hello everyone, my name is Prab Nair and I'm working as a Chief Instructor at InfoSec Training. Hey team, in this video, we're going to discuss about how to start from zero and achieve your CSSP certification. I received a lot of DMs on LinkedIn and Instaprep. What are the resources we have to use? One thing I want to say, this certification is possible without training. You don't need a instructor-led training for the certification. If you have a willpower and if you can able to spend one hour a day and four hours on a weekend, next two months, you can clear this certification. In this video, we're going to discuss from a 0 to 100 what resource we have to use in a sequence, what will be your strategy, and what are the important references you have to use for clearing the CISSP exam. And I'm sure this particular video can save you a lot of time and efforts. So this video is split into four parts. First is called as a videos, what videos we have to refer. The second part is called as a book, what is a book we have to follow. The third part is basically called as a question bank and the fourth part what we have to do two weeks before the exam. So let's start with the first video part. See there's a lot of videos are there in the market but I highly recommend two important videos which is basically useful for the CISSP certification. The first video is Mr. Thor Peterson. His videos are there on a Udemy and you can see it is a great hit. If you're looking for a deep training, deep content training, deep level content training, which is based on a multiple book, then you can refer the Thor Peterson video. If you are a fresher, it means you don't have an experience in the GRC or information security and looking from a scratch more in detail, then Thor Peterson videos is basically very useful. In the description box, I'm also sharing the link of that video. The second video link, which I would recommend is basically Mike Chappell LinkedIn Learning. Now, when we're talking about Mike Chappell, LinkedIn learning, the best thing about that, that content is basically very high level. And uh, if you have a GRC knowledge and you're just looking from a conceptual point of view, then you can refer that particular videos. It is, it is good in their descriptions, diagrams and all that. Okay. But if you're looking for a more detailed level content and all that, then you can basically go for the Thor Peterson videos. So this is the two important videos which I would recommend. You can check the reviews, you can check the feedback and then take a call. But my recommendation is start with the Thor and if you have a time, then you can refer the Mike Chappell videos. Okay, that is the difference. Now, second part is all about the book. What book we have to refer? Now, there's a two important books we have in the CISSP. One is basically called as a ninth edition official study guide, OSG. I repeat again, ninth edition official study guide published by Cybex and endorsed by IC Square. People uh, have this kind of a myth that this is the official book of IC Square, which is wrong because this book is basically prepared by the non IC Square instructor. He is a CISSP but non IC square instructor and it is basically published by the third party author which is called Cybex. Okay, so that is called as an official study guide. And the second book which is basically called as a CBK 6th edition. Okay, I will share the URL of the CBK 6th edition in the description box. Now let's understand what is the difference between these two books. So first when I say OSG which is called official study guide 9th edition. What is the best thing about that book? If you have a zero knowledge of GRC, if you have a very basic information about the information security, or if you think you are good in your conceptual understanding and all that, but still you have a doubt, then for those aspirant, official study guide is a very good book. Because the best thing about that book, it starts with the story. Let's understand in layman term. That book is basically tell you about why we need this and how this basically works and what is the important requirement from the exam point of view. The best thing about official study guide is that in every after every chapter they have some key pointers 
exam pointers i highly recommend to review those exam pointers even the week before the exam so as i said if you're looking for why who and what if you're looking from a story point of view if you look looking from a very conceptual point of view you want to start from a scratch then official study guide is the best book that you can basically check the second book as i said cbk common body of knowledge indoors publish written by ic square and their associate ic square certified trainers yes you are right initially what happened when i cissp certification was introduced it is the book which is used to be read by the lot of people okay then the you know one disadvantage of the book which i have heard or i also observe because i, I when i was preparing for cissp i refer the cbk second and third and fourth edition one thing about the book is it basically talk about to the point concept example if i say risk risk is all about likelihood of impact example i'm giving okay it will not tell you the story and all that it will direct tell you the statement so if you have a grc knowledge if you have a information security knowledge reading is something is your bad habit then you can go for the cbk because if you see the content of cbk if you see the pages of cbk it is very less as compared to official study guide because cbk directly talk about the statement one thing you need to understand ic square itself given the clear notice no single book can basically prepare you for certification and actually that is true do not expect that direct line by line statement will be there from the book okay so if you talk about me my training experience so what i used to refer is i give my training material which is part of my live session along with that from last 10 year i am only and only recommending cbk because the language of the exam is somehow related to the language of the book because definitely it is published by ic square and developed and written by the ic square instructor so that is the reason only so if you have a grc knowledge and just you want to know what is the content in the exam so from that point of view you can basically go with the cbk but if you don't have a grc knowledge and if you want to start from zero you want to start with a story you want to understand the concept then in that case you can refer the official study guide okay now suppose i am just imagining that okay you are referring the cbk but at least you can refer the official study guide uh, for the uh, the exam pointers because if you see in every chapter after every chapter they have a exam pointers okay now if you can see the of official study guide they organize the content in a form of chapters so here the people get confused yeah cbk has a eight domain and official study guide has a 21 chapters you are actually right official study guide they have divide the domains into chapters okay so that is how the micro level learning happen so this is the two books which i would recommend apart from that there's a third book which is called as a shawn harris let me tell you the history behind these books initially what happened cbk used to be there is a primary material but it was difficult to understand so we would like to know the story behind the topic so that time shawn harris book was the all in one book was the great resource but you can imagine shawn harris was the 1500 pages book which is called all in one we called all in one cssp so if you want to know the history if you want to know the concept and all that that time we refer that book later on cybex which i'm talking about official study guide was a clear replacement of the all in one shawn harris book so that is why we say that okay these books are compensating so if you're looking for more detailed knowledge you are preparing for the certification like a degree then the third book you can basically refer the all in one but you will get lot of confusions you will get a lot of distractions because so many things are there in the book which is not required so highly recommend either official study guide or the second is basically called as a cbk cbk six edition in the description box you can check the url now coming back to the question bank okay when you talking about the question bank okay so before going to practice any questions there is a two important video that you have to refer because it is very important for you to build the mindset we always say think like a manager think like a manager or think like a manager so it is very important you have to bring that thought process so for that there's a two videos the first video is basically called as a larry exam 2020 in the description box i will share that so that is a first video the second video that i will recommend you to kelly now what is the difference so when we go by the larry exam 2020 video the best thing about that particular video is larry divide the question into small small part and then make you think like a manager 
and give you the justification and explanation the reason behind that okay so that is the best thing that is the best thing about the larry video it's divide the question it divide the option and ask for the justification it give the justification and that justification you have to follow in the real exam or when you practice in this question so that is a first video and second video is basically called as a cali video cali video is excellent video it's a 16 minutes video which give you the idea about how to think like a manager okay my role is a consultant i'm not going to implement i'm going to suggest this or i'm going to define this so how to change the thought process it will come from the kelly video now apart from that if you have a time then you can check my video also which i made on a think like a manager series as i said i'm not going to do any kind of a self claim promotion videos here so think like a manager my series is also there that you can refer that will also give you idea and recently uh, i can see the green bati she also made a lot of videos so that you can check she has an excellent track record on a ccsp and she recently made some couple of videos on cissp ccsp think like a manager series which can be useful so these are the four videos that you can refer before going to practice any questions now coming to the question bank so when you're talking about the question bank the first question bank is called as a cybex question bank now when we're talking about the cybex question bank the best thing about cybex question bank it will help you to clear the concept now just imagine you have read the cbk okay so you read the first book with that if you practice cybex question it is like a revision of the second book which is called as cybex because that question bank of that particular cybex it is based on the official study guide ninth edition okay so it is helpful for building a foundation if you going with by that only question bank will not be useful okay it is help you to understand the concept it is basically build the foundation okay so that is the first important question bank you have to refer what is the latest version check the url the second question bank is called as a sean harris all in one question bank okay i think it's a fifth or sixth edition updated one i will share in the description box now what is the best thing about that book it will basically help you to think like a manager and second it will improve your reading habits if english is not your first language then this book their question bank is very useful because they have a paragraph based questions okay so it will basically improve your reading habits and also improve little bit your technical knowledge is it clear so that is the thing now third question bank my brother luke ahmed question bank okay so as i said english is not your first language and you are worried about your reading and you're looking for some kind of a taste of a technical and management then luke ahmed question bank is very good question bank he has a two type of question bank one is the online one and second is think like a manager 25 questions even i have recommended that book think like a manager book to my students my gladiators also and they found a very useful if you don't from a technical background and you want to improve the reading that book is very very useful if you're not going for his question bank at least you should go for their 25 question bank question book uh, parameter which is called as a think like a manager book reference of that is also i'm going to share in the description box so now i'm in a impression you have read the three question bank and it basically prepare your mindset the fourth question bank last question bank is called as a boson the language of the boson people used to say is very close to the exam because they play with the keyword called most best and all that so boson is highly recommended which come with the 750 questions now one important suggestion if you want to cut off your time and you're looking for the motivation form the study group i highly recommend to my gladiators also and there is a major success behind my passing rate is the study group now i'll tell you why now there is a ramesh and there is a suresh they both are preparing for the cissp certification okay they have decided that they will divide the cbk into two part that domain one to domain four one person will read or domain one was split into 50 50 pages see why we read book we read book to understand the concept right so suresh read 50 pages and ramesh basically read the 50 pages okay so now they will sit weekly and discuss about the topic okay so by this way in two weeks you can cover the book now when it comes to question bank also if you study the question in a group it will be very useful how let me explain you now ramesh practice domain one question and suresh practice domain one questions now ramesh has a doubt and suresh has a doubt they are not very agreed they are not very happy with the explanation so they are doing a debate here i went the, with the a because of this reason 
okay you went with the b because of the reason so there is an explanation discussion we have and that basically improve your thought process if you have a study group then it will be very useful the chance of cssp passing rate is basically higher so that is the one thing and second important benefit of forming a study group is suppose today you are lazy you are tired but when you're seeing the other parties who preparing for the certifications and all that they're preparing they're learning every day so it motivate you also okay so that's why i said form the study group so this is about the question bank so we have covered three things here video book and question bank now the next important thing is called as a two weeks or one week before the exam what to do my first recommendation is destination certification cissp mind map videos okay or before that you can also refer the cissp cram video okay the url will be there cissp cram video is basically a detailed video okay and if you're looking for more higher version or higher level parameters and all that then mind map video by destination certification if i talk about the comparison i highly recommend do not skip destination certification cissp mind map videos which is a very very important okay so that is the first thing so that is six hour mind map video okay that you can check and along with that you also looking for more satisfactions and all that then cissp exam cram so these two are basically uh, the videos we have and there is a book by my brother mr prashant mohan memory palace the best thing about that book is that it basically cover the all the domains part okay when you're talking about the memory palace the best thing about that book is basically cover the very detailed version of cybex sean harris and cbk that i highly recommend that you should review three days before the exam okay so it's a very important book so in the in the description box i will basically share that okay along with that if you have a time you can check my coffee short series where i made the coffee shots between topic based videos and topic based questions which also give you kind of an idea okay so this is all and make sure day before the night before the exam do not study anything day before the exam okay just review the notes make sure when you're creating a notes it should not be more than two pages make sure do not make more than two pages notes you don't need to make a note of everything okay just note down okay bella equal to uh confidentiality b by equal to integrity okay, i'm just giving example okay common criteria equal to iso 15408 standard so this kind of a things you can make a note okay and that note should be there till your day night before the exam or day before the exam on the exam day do not do anything don't take stress because you have to spend your next four hour in the exam this is a mistake people does they put more efforts on the day of the exam and they get exhausted during the exam time so it's very important do not do anything okay and if you find this video useful if you find from this video you clear the exam do drop your comment in this video so it will give me the idea about how important was the video and this is all from my side team if you find this video useful do share in your network if you find this video useful subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic and i'm sure you will clear this exam i'm 100% sure you will clear the exam in a first attempt so this is all from my side thank you goodbye